Start, bro. What's 10 times 10? Huh? Yeah. 10 times 10. You said what? 20. That's 10 plus 10, bitch, right? Oh, 10 plus 10? Right, yeah. 20. It's right for 20. Bro, what? They have 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10, 20. Exactly. All right, all right, my fault. My fault, my fault, bro. My fault. Go, yo, face. Go, yo, face. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Buka Anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Little RT. Now for y'all that don't know who Little RT is because I had to get hip to him myself, he's a kid that went viral for the song recently called 60 Miles. Pretty much he's only about 9 to 10, somewhere in that range. But in his song, he's talking about if 12 get behind him, meaning in his car, that, that I don't know what car he'll be driving in at that age. But he's also talking about shooting guns, catching his ops, just everything that you know damn well he's not doing. Of course, in a world where we're all praising toxicity, these days everyone found it to be entertaining, leading him to go viral on social media with a bunch of reposts and retweets. And that same video at... 2.4 million at the time of this recording. Now everyone except Candace Owens found it amusing as Candace would speak out against his parents and stated that little RT is what's wrong with black culture in a video she did reacting to the nine year old's music and she would say quote, this completely saddens me. It is the destruction of black culture. It is the destruction therefore of American culture. This is a kid who would end up dead. If you think that his mother is setting him on the right path, then it's because you're an idiot. Now, shortly after that, I don't think it was a good idea to interview a nine or 10 year old being that he clearly don't care and being egged on by adults. However, Candace Owens would get on a video call with the young man and he called himself checking her for her comments about his music. He would go on to say, quote, she need to be quiet. They all up in my silk. They always trying to stop my music. Now, during the video call after his remarks, Candace will stand by her reaction and say, quote, Little RT is a child and my heart breaks for him genuinely. I see a child who has so much potential and yet he is surrounded by monsters, people that know they are not furthering his rap career. In fact, they are leading him toward a path of harm. Now, I know Candace isn't a fan favorite and people aren't too fond of her, but she does have a point. He's being enabled in which seems like it's driven by his parents trying to benefit off their child by any means necessary. Being exploited all for their gain because this kid isn't saying what he's saying or doing what he's doing for no reason. He knows it's no consequences for his actions as of right now because he's safeguarded by his guardians. But enabling, like Candace Owens said, will lead to other things being enabled and him barking up the wrong tree one day, putting not only himself in harm's way, but also the people that's protecting him. And this seems to be the case here. Little RT haven't been viral for no more than two months and he's already dissing people and making enemies older than him. This comes after Little RT will be featured on a live stream with Kai Sinat as he would do a video called Babysitting Little RT for 24 hours. The video will show Little RT and Kai Sinat doing random things on live stream as Kai usually does in his videos. But it comes to a point in the video where the chat asks the young rapper if he listens to King Vaughn, and out of nowhere, he just said F King Vaughn for no apparent reason.
Now, of course, Kai got a friendship with Lil Dirk, so he made him clean it up. However, as you can see, the kid is just being a kid. He's been programmed to just be negative and say anything for entertainment purposes or attention, but this time he didn't understand the environment he was in, being that Kai and Dirk is actually friends because he's a kid. But anyway, Mimo will respond to the video and made an interesting point. He said a few things subliminally, but the first thing he said, he had a very good point. Mimo would take to his Twitter account and say, quote, His little A-word better live to see 10 on Steve. Now, some on Twitter took it as a threat, as if Mimo was insinuating that he was going to do something to the little kid, but I didn't see it that way. I seen it as Mimo warning him that he'll be lucky if he see the age 10 by talking the way he is talking. Plus, some may think it's heartless, but y'all gotta remember the surroundings Mimo come from. In Chicago, there's kids shooting and killing and dying at the tender ages of 12, 13, 14, and so forth. Which brings us to our next Mimo response to the situation, as he would tweet out saying, quote, Steve was murdered at 14, saying that to say kids die too. And he put the handshake emoji in that exclamation mark. So like I said, I don't think he was making any threats. He was just trying to make a point, right? If you don't know who he's referring to when he says Steve, he's referring to his little brother, Lil Steve, which who he lost due to gun violence in Chicago. He's letting it be known that he's seen firsthand that kids could get it too, with his little brother only being the tender age of 14 when he passed away. So the route that little RT is going, he should be careful and so should the people that's enabling him. And Mimo would know firsthand because, like I said, he has a brother who passed away due to gun violence at a very young age himself. Now, I'm unsure if this post was directed towards Lou RT, but Mimo would take to his IG story to say, quote, I don't play with people kids. Your A word going casket emoji, aka da. Right, but so many words. So, like I stated before, some of you may dislike Candace Owens, but I think in this situation here, she was 100% correct. I don't know where these kids come out of nowhere from and go viral, but I always tell y'all, whenever y'all see somebody go viral overnight, I automatically think they are industry plans. You know, made to make us look crazy or shine a weird light on us. Just no different from the sexy reds, right? The, the, the ice spices, all these people that come out of nowhere or overnight, and you realize what they go famous for, and you see that it goes hand in hand with the destruction of our culture. But they shine a bad light on us. But however, Little RT don't represent us in our kids. Yes, it's entertaining. Yes, it's amusing. Yes. But don't wonder why other cultures view us the way they do if you're one of the ones that don't see anything wrong with Little RT saying F deceased guys and rapping about running from cops and spinning blocks and whatever, knowing damn well that it's not even true. It's crazy. Keep in mind that his alias is Coco Feller which is a play off the cartoon for kids, Coco Melon. So <laughs> a kid's parents that's just nine years old label their kid a felon already, all for the sake of going viral. You know, the kid don't even know what 10 times 10 is yet, as y'all seen in the first video that we played before the video started. You know, sadly just stripping him of his childhood and life before he even get a chance to understand what life really is. But anyway, y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel about this. I really only did this video to express how I feel about the kid in general, highlighting the dangers he could be creating for himself, which is why I even spoke on the Candace Owens situation because I know y'all feel confused why I even mentioned her in this video, but I'm just appalled at how the people around him is allowing him to do what he's doing. I'm appalled at how much people is actually entertained, and yet we wonder why people look at us the way they actually do. You know, even if it's for image or entertainment, you would think that they'll teach him to have an on and off switch, but nope, <laughs> they didn't. So it is what it is, man. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. I'm out.